I was so scared of what people might think, like what they would say, like what? She got put out the army, she got separated, she can't never get it right, she always getting in trouble, she don't never get along with these females, like it's always something, she always blaming other people. And ain't this like the third time she has been homeless? And I was like, I don't want to tell nobody I got separated from the army. I don't want to tell nobody that, I, that I'm about to be homeless for the third time. Like, you must be doing something wrong. But sometimes life happens. I can't go back and fix it. I can't beg them to do what they're not going to do when their mind is made up. I can only take responsibility for myself. And change what God would have me to change and work on me. I don't think I was that impossible where they had to put me out. But guess what? It's done now. I was broken. I was hurt. I was like, what about my mom's and what she would want for me? My mommy up in heaven, she don't want me going through stuff like that. But I have to learn how to work on my emotions, how to control my mouth. And then when my friend was like, okay, you know, you got a certain amount of days and you got to go to a shelter. I'm like, I don't want to be in these streets again. You know what I'm saying? But I called and I looked up and thankfully, by the grace of God, I found this veteran shelter. So I'm not in these streets and they help us with everything. So it's like what the enemy meant for bad or what when he turns something that maybe you feel like you failed yourself and others, God can still turn that thing around at this veteran shelter. They leader, they literally help you with everything you need to survive. Like, shoot, I'm getting more treated better at this shelter than I was. We just gotta be real. Everything is not peaches and gold out here. I got put out the army. I'm still healing. I wanted to finish my contract. I couldn't. People said I was hard to work with. I was being talked about. My name was being slandered. You know what I'm saying? I lost my temper a few times, but I am still that young lady. Like I am very, I am very much a sweetheart. I just need the right people around me. I'm not perfect, but I'm trying to get to where God wants me to be. And some things, things don't go our way. Sometimes we mess it up for ourselves or like maybe it's not God's will or whatever happens, it happened. And God was trying to help me, but I'm here. I'm just grateful to God that I don't have to be on the streets. I told the Lord, like, Lord, please just make a way that I'm not sleeping outside. Because I did that. I was homeless before when I had to sleep outside. I had to go to certain apartments and sleep literally in the stairwell of apartments. Slept in the Walmart bathroom. Slept on the side of the, of the, of the, of the grocery store, the hospital, in between the atrium, in between the bushes. Running from the cops because they thought I was a danger to somebody. So I was like, Lord, I just don't want to be homeless. And then I looked it up and God sent me this veteran shelter. And up here in Massachusetts, they do more for veterans than any other state. So it turned out to be a blessing. Oh, look at him. Look at him. He's so pretty. So, yeah, I'm learning. I'm healing. Um, Y'all just keep me in your prayers. But I feel like sometimes we have to be honest and we have to be transparent. So if anybody out there that's on my little, I know I'm a small YouTuber, but if y'all are going through homelessness, maybe you just broke up with a significant other or whatever. You know, God wants us to be married, but whatever case you're in, God wants to draw you closer to him so that you can get in his will. Know that you don't have to depend on nobody like you need to depend on Jesus. Can't nobody do for you what Jesus can do. So trust in the Lord and lean not into your own understanding and know that he'll never put more on us than we can bear and even when we're in sin when we're in situations and people leave us our boyfriend and girlfriend god will use that to bring you closer to him he wants you in his will anyway he don't want you sinning checking hurting suicidal because your boyfriend or girlfriend left you like make god your all don't make your family your job your kids first put god first and trust him during the process and grow and let him work on you because that's what i learned to do and i also learned that it's okay to be transparent i am where i am i'm homeless right now but I'm at a shelter where it's like it's a it's a um a home instead of like a shelter. And they treat us good because we're veterans. And it's like, dang, like I said, they treat me better here than when I was in the Army. Because when I was in the Army, it was like, they go Bradley. So, but I'm healing. I'm healing. And everything is in peaches and cream. Sometimes we have to be real. We have to be transparent because somebody needs to hear it. It's okay if you fail. It's okay if it didn't work out. It's okay if they declined you. God got something better. And while you're trying to get to that something better, learn to be a better you in the process so that God can use you to reach the people he wants you to reach, like legitly. So don't, don't be dis discouraged and don't let you. Sometimes we're our biggest enemy. Learn to control our emotions and our temper and our hurt and our pain because only God can heal. He said he's not to the broken heart and those of a contrite spirit. Forsake not the assembly. Get in a Bible-based church and be encouraged. Keep seeking the Lord. He loves us and he's with us. God made a 
away from me. And like I said, they treat me good over here. I experienced something the other day, but I'm just going to trust in the Lord because I know he got me regardless. Y'all keep me in your prayers and y'all stay up. But keep God first. God bless y'all Chicago. I love you. I'm praying for you. And I pray God use me to make a difference um, by his Holy Spirit and others. Stand up.